Hi, this is Mary Riley. I just wanted to show you or share with you one of my interests or hobbies, maybe you want to call it, I don't know. But I'm a parrot person, and there are, are quite a few actually I found. But I'm going to introduce you to my parrots and tell you a little bit about them. This one is Coco Bird. Coco is an African Grey and he thinks this is a phone. He likes to talk to the phone. I don't know if he'll talk to you now, but we've had him the longest. I got him for my brother when his wife passed away. He couldn't keep him, so he was a truck driver and wouldn't be home. So we have Coco. We've had him since 2008, so he's our good boy, and he's acting a little funny and fluffy, but that's okay. Then we got over here our Bartley boy. Bartley is a blue-headed Pionis. He's a male. He's all over me all the time. He can't. St he loves to be with me. So he's usually on my shoulder, standing on my head. When I'm uh, working on my laptop, he's running all over me. And he ta does talk a little bit. He loves to give me birdie kisses. And he's very, very friendly. But most of these, my birds are not, you know, real friendly with strangers. They run away, they get excited. So that's Bartley. And here we have Dakota. Dakota is a Hans macaw. It's He's a little macaw. And we got him at a show. He was the last one and there was some people that were looking at him, but I felt like I had to have him, so he came home. He's a little bit of a nipper bird. He likes, he, I call him my vampire bird because he likes to scratch my skin till it bleeds. So I have to be really careful letting him just hang out on me. But he's a very good bird and he talks. He's the probably the best talker we have. He's a really interactive bird. He likes to call me sweetheart and of course I like it too. You know, being called sweetheart by your bird is really good. So that's our Dakota. This over here is Angel. Angel is also a blue-headed Pionis. She's the newest one we have. She's going to run away and hide behind the Santa Claus toy. But she came to us. We, we picked her up at the airport, and she was just about six weeks old. She was born the 1st of May this year, last, well, 2012. And she's a great little, uh, little bird. She likes to run and jump and hop all over the place, get into a little bit of mischief now and then, but she's very... Here, this is a bird nest. We have our Conyers. The one that's poking up at you is Firecracker. Firecracker was an adult bird, nine years old anyway, that we got from... Uh, he was in a pet store his whole life to us. And the other one is lemon, and if you look really close, you'll see lemons laying on eggs. And that's why they're getting all excited, because I'm disturbing the little nest there. The lemon came to us. Oh, you can see the eggs now. I'm going to close that. There's three eggs there. There's one in the back. Yeah. Okay, lemon, I'll leave you be, Mom. Lemon came to us from a person that lived in Manhattan that couldn't keep him lemon anymore because lemon was too loud. And that's one of the things with the birds is a lot of people get them and they think they're really going to enjoy them and it turns out that for some reason or another they can't keep them so they end up trying to find homes for them. And unfortunately these poor babies get passed from home to home lots of times which isn't good to them. They are like any other animal they get attached to you and it's hard for them to switch. So, you know, I'm not saying everybody should go get a bird because not everybody is a bird person like me and my husband. But, hey, that's Dakota. But, you know, if you'd like to know about birds, there's plenty of online resources. And, you know, be careful out there. Don't, don't think, oh, that looks like really cool to have because they're not toys. And they work there. Most of these birds here are going to outlive me. Coco will live 80 years. 
Bartley boy will live around 25, 30 years. Hi, Bart. Come here, boy. Yeah, that's the normal for us there. So, you know, they're going to they're gonna outlive me, and some, they're going to have to have a second home, which is going to be very hard on them because they're so used to us. And like I said, they don't care for strangers. So, anyway, that's what I enjoy. These guys are over me all the time, and we have fun. And so just sharing that little bit of me with you. All right, talk to you later. Bye.